looking at the temple of speculative music. <laughs> you can see the here is the ratios, and here is the proportions and the syllables. Mm. Mm. Just like the temple of speculative music. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. Harmony. This music of the spheres. Uh -huh. This is a chart uh, from Kepler's to Harmony Music showing the melody sung by the heavenly bodies. Uh -huh. mm. It's that. Here is uh, the tuning of the world. Uh, diagram from Robert Folds, uh, F U U D S, Ultimate Comic that Hysterical. Hmm. How's he tuning it? There's a tuner here. Mm. The high strung lute. Uh -huh. hmm. It's a poetic caveat against too much devotion. <laughs> what happens with too much? Uh -huh. hmm. Here we have music herself. Uh -huh. Music is pictured as notation. Music is not represented by mm, pure abstract music. Mm. How is that? Pure abstract music. It's not an instrument, it's just notation. Mm. Now we have pure abstract music. Mm. This is a predecessor of, uh, they came out in modern times with, with imaginary music. Here, love as a sympathetic vibration. Mm -hmm. Showing two lutes here tuned together, the second vibrating when the first is plucked. Love is the same thing, like... If you play one lute and the other one's tuned properly, then the other one will vibrate. So love as a sympathetic vibration. Hmm. Hmm. But a mute lute is vanity. Hmm. The mute. The lute, the mute, harp, is vanity. Hmm. The harp that's not played is like in vain. <sighs> so to not play is vanity. Mm -hmm. hmm. This actual painting is in the Met, which we're going, this is dedicated to our trip to the Met. <laughs> Here we have U Tarpi with Chataron and the Nightingale, mid 16th century allegory of music by Warat Dalla Hore. Courtesy of the Met Museum. Hmm. So we are going in search to find that loot. <laughs> We know where that one is. But we found it in this book by coincidence. While she sings, the heaven is here. So the heaven is here while she is singing. Hmm. This is from the British Museum. Hmm. The lute exalted as rhetoric. 
rhetorician, rhetorician. Now the the root is a rhetoric, rhetorician, rhetor, rhetorician. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Instead of a, he's the root is speaking. In other words, giving a speech. Uh -huh. Root as rhetorician. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Here we have these guys are playing the Phrygian mode, uh -huh. and these guys are the amorous Maxa Laudarian mode. Uh -huh. So they they are depicting the different modes. Here's amorous lute and divine harpa. Hmm. Those are some pictures from from illustrations from the untuning of the sky, ideas of music in English poetry, 1500 to 1700, John Hollander. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you missed all the pictures. You'll have to take a look. Huh? Huh. Huh. One of them was in the Met. Huh? So our theme for today is to go to the Met. Huh? Mm. So, hmm. is at the mat. Hmm. Hmm. Continue reading after we are reading from chapter four, the guises of Orpheus. Mm -hmm. I can t actually. I'm going to stop and just do the do one on the photo images, the illustrations. Mm 